Hello everyone, my name is Mihai and I'm here to talk about the wisdom of youth. But I will focus on the generations idea, because I believe that when it comes to speaking about wisdom, most people from any generation think alike. Of course, there are exceptions. But I prefer to narrow the idea even more and talk about our generation. Now, everyone sees the future in a different way. Some see greater technological advances, while others might see a more peaceful mankind. In general, each generation leaves an impression on our future, whether it is a positive impression or a negative one. This lasting impression is often referred to as a generational potency by obtaining new tools and opportunities from the mistakes and triumphs of the previous one, each generation tries to make themselves hurt. But I'm sure you already know about this. So let me be more specific. As our parents like to remind us almost every day, we were born lucky. We have no great war and no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods or rock stars. I just quoted from the movie Fight Club, and I find that statement to fit perfectly for us. Because, to be fair, considering all the information on the web, we are capable of learning almost anything. We are just a little lazy. But let me tell you something else. Despite this laziness, we truly are wiser as a generation than anyone before our time. And that is because we have matured faster, thanks to the internet. From a fragile age, we can Google Santa Claus on the web and find out with horror that he does not exist. Every time I hear something supernatural that I find it hard to believe, I let the internet prove people how wrong they are. But that single thing alone doesn't make us wiser because anyone can do the same. What does, instead, is our selective and realistic way of thinking. We have taught ourselves to believe only the tangible facts. We question things we hear and rely mostly on the scientific solution. To cut a long story short, we cannot be fooled that easily. And here's another argument. Our adaptation system is very advanced because the future always changes in the largest of ways by the smallest of things. We have to adapt. And it seems to me that everything changes pretty fast nowadays. And I believe it is our responsibility as a generation to mark our presence in this world, to continue, maybe even revolutionize what others started a few years ago. And I believe it is in all of us. We have the force and the necessary resources, and we have the youth on our side. I realize that to some people this may sound like a cliche, but let's try and change this world for the better. Be the change you want to see in this world. I'm sure many of you have heard of this before, and I know it's not easy to work harder while others just sit around and do nothing. But with just a little motivation, you can acquire great knowledge. And believe me, the time spent will pay off. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it will. And I know we're being judged because of the many bad examples in today's society. People have lost their faith in us, saying how ignorant we are. But we are not all the same. Don't judge a book by its cover is my message to them. And don't pay attention, or don't pay more attention than they deserve is my message to you. This kind of treatment also happened many years ago. But now we know better. Anyway. One of the mistakes that I found in my research regarding this subject is that each generation imagines itself to be more intelligent than the one that went before it and wiser than the one that comes after it. That's George Orwell. And I do agree with him because I experienced this fact. I thought of my generation to be better than the one of my parents. But those people who are constantly told, your time has passed, Grandpa, step aside, they tend to amaze us every day with their knowledge. There is no reason to be stubborn and not accept anything but your beliefs. That way we cannot evolve and definitely cannot be called wise. In reality, 
there are forces working in our head, but we don't really understand that. Slowly, we have to come down and face what we are, realize what we're capable of doing, and progress from that point, because it's not impossible. Remember, a wise man gets more use from his enemies than a fool from his friends. Don't be a fool now. Thank you very much.